So what I'd like to do is end on here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions Part 34 Float. In today's episode, we had re-listened to the work to date, which was this thing over here, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of figures. And we've been focusing on figures now, uh, holding on the harmony. Um, and we decided to continue to relax, to let it be, so our theme for today has been float, to maintain our poise. So we made a float score picking out a couple key themes that we really liked from this work area here. And we feel like we've come up with something that has a pleasing feel, energies are all labeled, and it renders at 74 seconds, which is a uh, check on our 60 second roll. It has to be um, at least 60 seconds to, to take a cool sounding idea and then give enough material to feel satisfied with it. The key new thing we did decide to do is work with subdominant some more, which is has float energy. So we were looking at our tonality reference area and said, you know, can we find any subdominant chords, if any? And the short answer is no. They're all tonics, ambivalence, and uh, dominance. And what that means is they all all the three note chords have modes, urges uh, in them. So as a quick reminder, a subdominant float can have no, no mode and no urge. Well, what does that leave? Well, the B flat and the B, you can't have that. And the E and the F, you can't have that. That leaves a C and an A. So you can have a dyad, a subdominant dyad. So that was our kind of takeoff point. It said, we're going to take some themes and subdominant dyads and go from there. And we did. So every, what we did is come down here. And we've heard these two themes already. That was what we called hook eight in this work area over here. And then um, da -da, uh, the last one, da -da 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 -da, wherever it is. Uh, it's somewhere here. here it is. And that was over here way at the end. So those are the themes we took, decided to work with. And then we added the very simplistic uh, dyad here, which is it's it, two notes. And so the big aha was that we could get away with that. <laughs> So what we're going to do is play this uh, float piece for you, and that'll take us home. Here we go. So, that concludes today's stream. What we like about this is we've talked about the, the energy you get from a little bitty arc of completion. So, we've completed another composition that we feel has a little more depth 
or, or breadth or or it's six it's 74 seconds long okay and and that feels good um our ideas for next time are to carry forward from today we're still thinking about spatial animation um we're going to put a tbd here here to be determined because we could jump back and add harmony um we could we could do the things we know to do add timbres you know sound play some cool violin or something schmaltzy on top of that but we're just going to let it keep keep our poise keep letting it be see what other ideas kind of keep bubbling to the surface remember now uh, we've done four improvisations now we've made float we've done um, the sweet work area the figures work area so we've we've embedded ourselves in the c four 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 five five six five four five five four five five six scale so much it's just like a, a earworm in the back of our brain and so things are starting to bubble up now uh, from all all of this uh, and, and ways of gelling it together are going to continue to bubble up so you know just just keep listening for for what else wants to be expressed let's keep listening for what else wants to be expressed that's what we want so thank you for your time and attention curiosity and interest uh, a shout out to mr spatz who showed up in force today look forward to seeing you in the next episode do come back do take care and do keep on streaming <laughs>